वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगाम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट एंड शेयर नॉर्मल इक्वेशन फॉर फिटिंग अ सेकेंड डिग्री पैराबोला y equal to a plus bx plus cx square any second degree polynomial is called as polynomial and the general equation is a plus bx plus cx square or it may be ax square plus bx plus c also may be there but i am considering here now a plus bx plus cx square now consider a set of consider a set of n given values set of n observed values or given values given values of x and y as x1 y1 x2 y2 and so on up to xn yn okay for fitting a for fitting a parabola capital y equal to a plus bx plus cx square then the estimated error will become okay then the estimated error okay e i will call okay for different values i will call it as e i equal to small y i minus capital y i But capital Y I is different for x i. Therefore, E I equal to small y i minus a plus b x i plus c x i square. Or you can just multiply this minus inside, and I am going to get y i minus a minus b x i minus c x i square is my estimated errors. okay in least square method what we are doing is this is sum of the estimated errors squares must be least therefore by least square method least square method okay sum of the estimated squares s is equal to sum of the estimated errors square or i equal to 1 to n we are making them as a list this is given by nothing but i equal to 1 to n y i minus a minus b x i minus c x i square and its square errors square okay is minimum okay therefore but yes is a function of function of parameters parameters a b and c okay now to find out those a b c or yes to be minimum the conditions are therefore yes to be minimum minimum with three parameters with the three parameters parameters the conditions are the conditions are do s by do a equal to do s by do b and do s by do c all these must be equal to zero using them we are finding the normal equations now okay therefore therefore now do s by do a let me differentiate this one partially with respect to a then i am going to get here is summation i equal to 1 to n it is a whole, the whole square is there therefore chain rule two times the y i minus a minus b x i minus c x i it's a square into differentiation of all these things with respect to a only partial with respect to a which is equal to minus 1 this must be equal to 0 okay now what i will do i will separately apply the 
summations for each term that is nothing but 2 times summation yi minus summation a minus or minus this is multiplied inside therefore this is minus this will become plus and this is minus of minus plus b uh, summation of bxi plus summation of cxi square is there xi squares just must be equal to 0 and here this do this minus i can take out outside and shift it to other side and 2 also i will shift to other side that will become 0 which implies summation i equal to 1 to n n times it is a is added therefore it will become n a i can write this one plus this one i can write it as b into summation x i i can write and this one c is a any parameter x i is just to be added therefore uh, plus c into summation x i squares must be equal to due to this minus i will shift it to the other side summation of y i this is my first equation of normal equation i will call this as equation number one like that what i will do do s y do b i will do okay this yes i will differentiate partially with respect to b now then what happens let me see check that is summation i equal to 1 to n again 2 times y i minus a minus b x i minus c x i square into partial derivative with respect to b this is 0 this is 0 minus x i will come here minus x i okay the that must be equal to 0 and this term also will come 0 now again split it into summations i will get it as a which is equal to 2 times 2 times and due to this minus x i this will become summation minus x i into y i okay minus of minus plus summation x i into a minus of minus plus summation x i square into b this one plus summation x i cube into c that must be equal to again 0 and now again this 2 is shifted to other side if i shift this 2 to the other side it will come 0 this whole term equal to 0 therefore due to this minus that also i shift to the other right side then our equal equation will become i can write it as a into summation x i a is a parameter a therefore a times summation of x i plus b into summation of x i squares and c is parameter therefore i can write outside plus c into summation x i cube must be equal to this is shift to the other side summation of x i into y i this is my second equation of normal equations like this i will differentiate partially do s with uh, do s by do c and equate it to zero this s one i have to differentiate partially with respect to c now now i will come back here now do s by do c is given by i will differentiate with respect to c now therefore it is summation i equal to 1 to n again it is square is there therefore 2 times 2 times y i minus a minus b x i minus c x i square into differentiation of this one with respect to c 0 0 0 and here it will come minus x square xi squares must be equal to 0 this xi square is multiplied inside and this 2 is out, outside 2 times summation i equal to 1 to n into yi into xi square minus xi square into yi minus of minus plus summation xi square into a plus summation xi cube into b minus of minus plus summation x i is to 4 into c this must be equal to 0 this is 2 is shifted to other side and this also minus due to this minus which is shifted to other side that implies a into parameter a is parameter therefore it is a summation x i square plus b into summation x i cube plus c into summation x i is to 4 must be equal to 
summation of xi squares into yi this is my equation number 3 okay all these three three equations together we'll call them as a normal equations to fit a parabola therefore i will list out now here then all the three now normal equations normal equations to fit a parabola to fit a parabola uh, a plus bx plus cx square equal to y are given by are given by okay let us uh, i will make it a simple apply the summation for this one that is n times the summation of a will give you n a plus b times the summation of x plus c times the summation x square equal to summation y this is the first normal equation to get the second normal equation multiply throughout y x and then add the summation that is nothing but a into summation x plus x is multiplied b into summation x square plus c into summation x cube equal to summation x y this is second normal equation to get the third normal equation multiply this equation throughout y x square that is a into summation x square b into summation x cube plus c into summation x raised to 4 equal to summation summation x square y all these three equations together are known as a normal equations to fit a a plus bx plus cx square like that if the parallel equation is different that is note okay normal equations to fit to fit y equal to ax square plus bx plus c what is the difference in between this one it is starting with a coefficient and here it is c is the constant coefficient then normal equations will little bit change here that is a into summation x square plus b into summation x plus n times c will become whichever the constant term that is n times you have to take equal to summation y second equation will become a into summation x cube plus b into summation x square plus c into summation x equal to summation x y and one more equation because three parameters are there three equations is required summation x raised to 4 b into summation x cube plus c into summation x square equal to summation x square y all these three equations together will form a normal equations to fit ax square plus bx plus c like this examples using this normal equations in my next video i am going to explain if you not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends